Remoner Ken Clark brutally slapped down by Brexiteer in fiery debate on Newsnight. An official assessment of the economic effects of Brexit made the news in the past few days after it was leaked by online. It looks at different scenarios on leaving the EU which are all negative and it was recently revealed the negative effects it would have on the economy in terms of reducing immigration. Peter Bone, Conservative MP for Wellingborough and founding member of the Grassroots Out campaign, dismissed the document as Project Fear Mark II. He said, on immigration, obviously this is Project Fear Mark II. We had Project Fear before the referendum. The British public listened to all the arguments, listened to the economic arguments and they decided to vote to leave. We are going to have a fairer immigration system and the same rules and regulations across the whole world. We are not going to discriminate in favor of the European Union. And if we are going to talk about experts, why don't we talk about Professor Minford who says we are going to be vastly better off and he has been proved more right than the Treasury to which the passionate pro-EU supporter and former cabinet minister Ken Clark interrupted, no he hasn't. But Mr. Bone continued, you know, the Treasury got it totally wrong before, was that a political thing or did they just get it wrong? Patrick Minford is professor of applied economics at Cardiff University. He is a vocal supporter for a hard Brexit, in which the UK leaves the single market, customs union and immediately goes to World Trade Organization rules. Mr. Clark hit back at the Brexiteers' assertions. He said, Patrick Minford is the only economist I know who says we should open out tariffs to everybody and somehow it will all be okay. But Mr. Bone interjected, incensed, but he said there would not be a disaster after the referendum, there wasn't and that is a fact Ken. Mr. Clark insisted the UK has been worse off since the referendum. The Remainer added, there is no doubt that large sections of the population are poorer now than they would have been if we voted to remain. It set off a devaluation because it damaged confidence in British sterling assets, that caused inflation and the real wages of many people are not keeping up with this inflation. Once again, the staunch Brexiteer blasted, we have the lowest unemployment for 40 years, that didn't happen by accident Ken. The official report is from across Whitehall analysis found economic growth will fall by 5% over the next 15 years if the UK had a free trade deal, 8% if the UK left without a deal and 2% lower growth if the UK stays in the single market. But officials said while it is being presented as a cross-government report, it was heavily influenced by Treasury modelling. The Chancellor is understood to have made the case in Cabinet that the debate over Brexit should be influenced by the analysis of economic impact. Commons Brexit Minister Steve Baker said in the Commons that government forecasts are always wrong and the leak was an attempt to undermine our exit from the EU.